In 2008, long-time Prince photographer Randy St Nicholas was working on putting together the beautiful 21 Nights in London photo book and she began discussing with Prince the idea of a decade-long collection of photographs that encapsulated a large part of Prince's career. Shortly after Prince's transition, Randy gave a presentation and included some of the remarkable images she created and many Prince admirers thanked her and told her how they felt closer to Prince as they enjoyed them. And it was then that Randy knew she had to make them available for the world to see and appreciate. My name is Prince, 25 inspired years from 1991 to 2016 is a huge undertaking and indeed is a huge book in all senses of the word. At 388 pages, 29 by 33 centimetres and weighing in at a stunning 7.5 pounds in weight, it is a monumental dedication to Prince, the icon and the man behind that icon. Randy also intersperses these mesmerising photographs with her recollections of working for Prince and essentially following him pretty much everywhere he went, from exiting stadiums and clubs, intimate moments such as catching Prince shaving or asleep, and so much more. I've included only just the very barest hint of the book, as I don't wish to spoil it too much for those who are still waiting for it, and also because there is so much to take in. It really is a candlelit, relaxed read on your own in the right atmosphere. Randy, who many will also recognise from the Diamonds and Pearls era insatiable video, has a truly great eye for the unusual and intimate shot. Seeing Prince clasp his microphone or be captured stepping off a plane for an impromptu gig really brings home the frenetic and fast-paced speed of life that Prince led. The book is divided into discrete chapters of the experiences that Randy and Prince shared, with titles such as Rehearsal at Paisley Park, New York 1993, London 2007, Coachella, My Name is Prince video, and so much more. Randy details the humour, the relentless drive for perfection, the inexhaustible work ethic, and the absolutely fearless way Prince lived his entire unique life. This is very much a book that you will return to countless times, and there are a number of moments when you just end up staring at a particular image for a prolonged period of time, just imagining Prince at that moment, what he was thinking, the conversation Randy and Prince were having, the energy that Prince had just swirl around him. For Prince, his image was utterly central to his art, as it was for him an extension of his creativity, a way of expressing so much that was unable to be said, the ineffable essence of his soul. It really strikes home the intimacy of establishing an ongoing professional relationship with a photographer, someone who is there constantly, someone you need to trust, not only to create the level, standard and quality of work you desire, but also because they can also be present in a few unguarded moments, moments when you are alone with them, just being thoughtful, reflective or humorous. For me, some of the most intriguing photographs are those caught backstage or in hotel rooms, such as pictures that make up the last chapter of the book at the Hollywood Palladium. There is something so human, so vulnerable yet striking, so real and vibrant, and yet it hits you once again. Prince's humanness, that aspect that sadly gets overlooked all too much. The time, effort and attention Prince placed into his image was not a stage persona or public manifestation, it was the way he lived his entire life. It meant a central strand to his artistry and he clearly considered it utterly crucial to have around him the photographers that drew out that spirit, that remarkable individuality that was Prince. This is an extraordinary book that I will certainly treasure for a long time and it did make me feel that bit closer to Prince as I was absorbed in these amazing images. My Name is Prince by Randy St Nicholas is available from HarperCollins. Release dates vary by country. <laughs>